Was you blessed today? What a word, what a word. The love of God at this time. Let's pray. Let's stand up for the prayer. Father, we thank you this morning, sharing the bread of life through your manservant that we may receive the word of life. Father, I, we thank you for sacrificing your son on our behalf. Thank you for not dealing with us after our sin that you could have, but you showed us mercy. Father, as we move into the next part of the service, Father, I pray that you prepare our minds and our heart to realize the great sacrifice that you have made through your son as we take part of this communion. You say, do this in remembrance of me. Thank you, Father. So we, we won't forget you, and when we do forget you, let your spirit bring us back to remember what you have done for each and every one of us. Thank you again for your goodness and your mercy, Father. We thank you, Father, in your son Jesus' name. Thank you. Amen. Would you please take your seat? I'm going to ask the four elders to come to the front that have been assigned. Let's get two on this side, two on this side. Or should I say, is there anyone that has been overlooked that you did not receive one of the Disposable, we are utilizing and using the disposable. The wafer is on the top. If you peel it off, it's on the top part. In Luke chapter 22, there's a sobering message. It says, Now the feast of the unleavened bread drew near, which is called Passover. And the chief priests and scribes sought how they might kill him, for they feared the people. Catch this now. Then Satan entered Judas, surnamed Iscariot, who was numbered among the twelve. And so he went his way and conferred with the chief priests and captains how he might betray him to them, and they were glad and agreed to give him money. So I want you to catch this now. Find yourself in the story. Satan entered into Judas. He left and met with priests, chief priests, and captains devised a plan that made all of them happy and got paid for it. You missed it. Just because your plans work, just because you get paid for it, doesn't mean God was in it. Satan entered into him to put forth a plan that looked good but was not of God. When you examine your lives, don't examine it based on the immediate outcome of whether you got paid or whether you were able to meet with 
higher ups and big wigs and chief priests and captains and you were hobnobbing with the CEO and you were doing everything and it looked good like your future was in what was was being laid out and and you had everything lined up but you missed the fact that Satan had entered you let God be the lead of your life even when it is uncomfortable even when it goes against what you want. Examine yourselves. This is what communion is about. Examine yourself. Don't examine your brother next to you. Don't examine your sister next to you. Examine yourself to see whether or not you are in the faith. We will have the reading for the bread, then the reading for, uh, then the prayer for the bread, then the reading for the wine, then the prayer for the wine. Elder. Luke 22. When the hour had come, he sat down and the twelve apostles with him. Then he said to them, with fervent desire, I have des desire to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I say to you, I will no longer eat of it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And he took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to them saying, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Let us pray. Our loving Father in heaven, we hold in our hand the emblem that represents the broken body of your son, Jesus. The great price that he paid for us that we may have eternal life. We ask, O oh God, that you would bless this emblem and that it will always remind us until he comes again that we are loved and a price has been paid. So bless this emblem, Lord, and bless your people. We humbly ask in the name of Jesus with the forgiveness of every sin in thought, word, and deed. Amen. This time I ask you to take wafer. And in the same night that he was betrayed, he said, take, this is my body which is given for you. As often as you do it, do it in remembrance of me. Continuing in Luke, then he took the cup and gave thanks and said, take this and divide it among yourselves. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. Dear Lord, thank you for everything that you've done for us. As we are here now with this wine, we ask that you elevate its purpose from that of an ordinary beverage to one that is sacred, a sacred memorial of the blood that was wasted for us. Thank you so much for being such a wasteful lover and savior of our souls. Yes. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. There's a promise when it comes to the drinking of the wine, he says, I will not partake of the vine again until I'm with you. So take, drink, this is the blood that was spilled for you. 
So often as you do it, do it in remembrance of me. We ask you to just leave the, it on the pew and it will be picked up for you. Come on, come on, come on, musicians. It reaches to the highest mountain. Someone that wants to share the goodness of God, not, not that you got this and you got that, but what God has been to you, how God has sustained you, how God has blessed you, how God has brought you a mighty long way, that if not for the grace of God, truth be told, you would not be here. Someone has a testimony and they want to share that today, I give you the opportunity right now, just raise your hand, the first hand that goes up, we will... Is the hand over there, Sister Clayton? Hello, everyone. Um, very briefly, I just want to thank God, first of all, for salvation, that precious blood that he shed. I just, I don't take it for granted by his grace and mercy. Uh, about 14 years ago, 15 years ago, uh, I started, um, I attended a class over on the East Coast in Maryland, and it was a real estate class, and the guy who was teaching, he was up teaching, and um, his experience was really negative, negative. and so I sat in the class, and after, when he made the statement, I was like, oh no, this is not for me, but God, that's all I can tell you is God, he brought it back around to me once I got over here. And um, long story short, there, were per there was a friend here in the, in the um, congregation who assisted me to pay for the class, but something happened where I had to stop. And this year, when, or last year when COVID happened, I started the class again. And I had, there was a Groupon where it was really inexpensive for me to do the class. And when um, COVID happened, I just kind of um, pushed back. But then the lady called me, she goes, you know what, your coupon's about to expire. And so I know God was ushering me, telling me to go on. Long story short, this past week, God, and Mila can attest to this, he orchestrated for me to be able to take this exam where it's set up for only 52% to pass. And I took the exam. I got out early. It wasn't easy, but I prayed. I prayed before I opened up those books, those flashcards. I prayed. And he enabled me to pass the test. Yeah. And I got out early. And I'm just thanking God because I know, I know it's certainty yes. he orchestrated Mila can attest I was there was a document when because of COVID everything had been pushed back I went to the computer I couldn't pull up the document I need to get additional documents 445 the day of the exam that morning he woke me up he impressed upon me to go and pull up the document I had only uh, printed out just the face sheet because I was so happy I got the date but I needed the letter to get in the door, and then there was also a permit, the parking permit. Everything was there. I know God orchestrated that, and Amen. I'm just, I'm thankful. Amen. I'm thankful because there were days when I was like, not today, but he kept, he just kept 
impressing upon me to move forward. Amen. And I'm just, I'm thankful. And I, my prayer is that, Lord, I don't want any transaction that you're not bringing. Yes. I've talked to persons who made lots and lots of money, but like you were just saying, God wasn't in all of those transactions. And I, so I'm praying my way through, and I'm just, I'm still listening to your prayers. I really am, because yeah. I, I don't want anything that he's not doing. And I Praise just, God. I thank God. I thank God. All I can tell you, Jesus, that's all I can tell you. He enabled Amen. me to excel in that, in that particular situation. Amen. God, God bless you. Thank you so much. We want to thank, grateful to have our members of our Spanish congregation here with us. Thank you so much for participating in our service. Uh, we're going to have the deacons stand at the three exits, this exit, that exit, and this ex exit as we exit and we collect uh, the fund for the needy, for the poor needy. Uh, I'm trying to see where my deacons are. I don't know if they're still, if they're upstairs guarding the, the treasury room. But uh, if we can just get even, there's Brother Salalasi, Elder Strickland, maybe you can assist um, in one of the exits. We exit, if you're on this side, exit from this door. If you're behind the sound booth and behind it, you'll exit from the back. And if you are in front of the sound booth, you'll exit from this door. I have to do this. Wayne and Paula Young, stand up. I needed my wife to see you. This is personal. So that's, that's who's here, babe. And you guys see each other after the service. Let's stand. one of those good songs when we're going out the blood or father we thank you for the time spent our hearts are lifted up knowing the kind of father that you are whether too much dust got on us and we got lost in the house whether we thought we were smarter and we wandered away that you had to come get us. We just are thankful for who you are. We lift up Brother King, who's in the hospital. We lift up, lift up Elder Farrell, who's recovering. We lift up all of our sick and shut in during this time. Sister Carter's mother, recovering from her surgery. Hear this prayer, bless your people, and bind us heart and mind together. In Jesus' name we pray, may God, richest blessings rest upon you today. You are dismissed. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, see if you can get them to meet me. Uh, Eugene Denman, Eugene Denman, Harold Sweet, just meet me in my office.